We can still learn together even we're apart. That's why it's online. If you are not willing to learn, no one can help you. If you are determined to learn, no one can stop you. to Peace Abilities, Armand Benko, your host and our guest, Rowi Mati of Galileo Enrichment Learning Program and Sacred Heart School. Uh, Ms. Rowi, meron tayong we encourage our audience to share their opinion or comment, comments, question. Uh, let's read uh, one or two. Uh, kung makakapili si Ana uh, to put it on screen. Uh, Ana or Ryan, mga kasama natin sa uh, CBRC.TV uh, Can we put on screen? Ayan, coming from Hensel Ketilano I agree that the Philippines Need to upgrade our level of education My youngest daughter Po medyo hirap sa math Lagi po akong <laughs> Iniiyakan Kapag One uh, on one na kami Naintindihan ko na hindi dapat Madaliin ang bata kasi uh, Ano to? Pag na-feel nila na under pressure sila, lalo silang nahihirapan. Let them learn at their own pace. Uh, how true or ano ang maidadagdag mo rito, Ms. Rowie? Uh, comment ni Hensel. Um, at I don't know how old the child is, pero uh, kung nahihirapan na siya sa math, the child will need more practice and you need to know the level of the child right now. Doon siya dapat magsimula. And totoo, mm -hmm. pressure lang siya pag pinilit mo siya matuto. Pero kung ang ituturo mo is the right level for the child, hindi siya mahirapan. Mm -hmm. And ma-enjoy mm -hmm. niya. So you have to start from the basic. And okay, then okay. do it every day. Kailangan may practice, explain ng maayos. Enroll mo na lang kaya sa Galileo. And what's good Galileo. now is since it's online, it's everywhere in the Philippines. Right, from the right. students as far as Bataan, Samar, anywhere, all over the world. Nakaka, may, may students na kami, we can reach even um, Middle East, US, Maldives, mga ganyan na kami. So that's the beauty now of online. Okay. Uh, another comment, basa tayo, uh, Ms. Rowe. Coming from Elaine Obad. Uh, what are the measure measures you take in order to get the children's attention, Ms. Rowe. Usually kasi sa mga bata, short attention span lang, lalo na siguro ngayong online learning. Oh, very good question, uh, Elaine Obat. Yeah, that's actually a very good question because a lot of parents, yan din yung worry. Um, mm. What's important are uh, trained teachers, very well-trained teachers, a good curriculum, and a well-planned screen time. Kasi ang pinag-iisipan talaga natin ngayon, yung length of time na that the child will spend on screen. Kasi dati nga, we discourage them from using oh, okay. But now, there's no other way. Um, the best alternative now is really online learning. Huwag natin ipilit yung face-to-face. -face. That's why DepEd is not allowing it because we don't want to spread the virus yung mga bata yung super spreader. So, kailangan, let's really stick to online learning or modules. So, kung kaya mo, ikaw magturo ng anak mo sa bahay. Otherwise, you can enroll in a program. So, I think, what's important is, yun nga, well-trained teachers. You've seen the teachers of... Yes, day. yes. I can attest to how well their, your teachers are trained. Uh, then, they have to have a prepared program. So, before they come to class, they really prepare para mabilis. Para, para silang mga ano eh, para silang mga bloggers na eh. Because, yes, yes. Um, they, they should be able to get the attention of the child with their voice, with their action, and a program that is well prepared. So what you did you say about uh, screen time? A planned uh, screen time? Uh, for children now, 
because that's the worry of the, a lot of parents yung screen time ng bata because we want we don't want them to be spending so much time in the computer so if you if they will have to spend time in the computer make sure that the screen time that they're that they're using up is prepared and something that will really help them hindi lang inaglalaro sila hindi ba nanonood right. lang ng, ng ng video so the screen time should be with the teacher na may tinuturo sa kanila um 30 minutes or an hour spent pero may natututunan sila yun yung importante then after that stop let them read books play with each other do other things para hindi lahat ng oras nila nakatapat sila sa computer okay uh to, to my question na uh, miss rowie kanina yung ating hanging question uh ano yung mga unang problema march up oh, third set of keywords ha ah, galing yan kay uh, ano miss rowie hindi ko alam yan na uh, ako guilty ako miss rowie uh, of course may ginagawa rin tayo work from home ako kaya ang ginagawa ko dun sa apo ko ayan yung cellphone ipad ginagawa hindi planned uh, ayan Ginu- para pumigil na, para hindi para pumigil lang, di ba? So, kailangan pala yan, merong right amount or planado ang screen time. May purpose yung uh, screen time. Um, at, ano yung mga unang problema at uh, going through na tumagal ng tumagal at ngayon in the new school year na? Okay, so we got scared because we couldn't get the children back to school. But they have to continue learning, lalo na yung Mag-graduate. For the school, those who will graduate in March, how will they end? How will they move on? So it was good that at, as early as 2015, since we're in the industry of education, everything is very dynamic. So lagi na, laging tinitingnan namin yung future, five years from now, ten years from now, nakikita na namin talaga yung digitalization. So um, online learning is very important because that's the future. The children now are studying but they don't know what kind of job they will have when they mm-hmm. graduate. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. digitalization, ang daming mga bagong the creativity, the innovations, ang daming mga bagong nangyayari. So pag graduate ng anak mo, baka may mga iba ng, you know, like now people are going to space, di ba? Yeah, but, yeah. Um, all the learning is important, hindi sila pwede tumigil. And for educators, there's a prime time for learning. The 0 to 7, 0 to 8 is so important. So kahit mm-hmm. na may pandemic, kailangan tuloy-tuloy pa rin natutupo yung bata. Otherwise, you're going to miss that prime okay. time for learning. Yeah. Ma'am, 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 ma'am. Pakiulit nga yun, yung 0 to 7, 0 to 8. Uh... 0 to 8 years old is the prime time for learning. Actually, it reaches 12, 0 to 12. This is the time that the mind of the child is like a sponge. So whatever you teach them, they remember, they'll understand. Absorb. Kasi habang tumatagal ka, napupuno na yan, eh, diba? So this is the time. That's why a lot of parents expose them to different sports, different languages. Because whatever they can learn right now, um, dyan nag-perform yung mga connectors. Eh. So dyan nag-perform yung brain ng child. So the 0 to 12, that's the time you really have to give a lot. So kahit na pandemic, as educators, our goal is to let the children know that they have to continue le- that, let the parents know that even if schools are closed, learning should continue. So you can do it through online life learning, through teaching your child, the modules, you can do it here on your own. Kailangan lang tuloy-tuloy na tututo yung bata. Now, a lot of parents are scared because they're not teachers. Then, you know, yeah. that's when you enroll in an online program. And then we always say, wag nyo pipilitin yung face-to-face learning because it's not safe. Let's wait until the pandemic is over to go back to face-to-face. Don't worry, the children will be able to catch up. Now, do the basic. Math and English siya, pumasok siya sa school, even if there's another thing, there's also COVID learning loss. Ano yun? Ano yun, ma'am? Ano yun? COVID, COVID learning, learning loss. Oh, so COVID learning loss naman is the loss of knowledge and skills and reversal of academic progress due to the disruption of classes. Okay? So, nung tumigil yung, yung pasok, uh, yeah. on, di ba, online learning na. So, less yeah. time spent in school because dati 7 to 5, ngayon 8 to 11, 8 to 12 lang yung klase kasi online siya. 
yes. and the others are doing modular. So um, there's such a thing as COVID learning loss. Okay. And then there's a study made in the States. There's a loss of 30% in learning and reading, 50% wow. in the wow. learning in math. Wow. Due to this COVID learning loss. Of course, this is a study made by the Northwest Evaluation Association. This is in the US. But the same thing is happening here in the Philippines. So it's I can imagine. Yeah. I can imagine. So, um, ang goal ng parents is just to keep them learning. And then, I'm so happy nga that you invited me now because as the school year will start, bagong school year na to, na online ulit eh. So last year, nasubukan na natin yung one year, nahirapan yung mga schools. Um, I'll go back to what you were saying. Um, paano nag-adjust yung mga schools? For us, it was easy because 2015, we were already actively looking at online learning. There's a group in the Philippines called the Google Educators Group um, mm -hmm. that started 2015. So we would meet, I, I'm the Google Educators Group lead for Makati. So we would meet, train our teachers, try to use it in our schools. So we mm -hmm. yung computer as a tool for learning. But the parents were not ready to do online learning. We wanted to offer it a little at the time, but the parents were not ready. So we had it in our pipeline. So when COVID happened, it was our chance to be able to do what we wanted to do. So um, kaya mabilis kaming nakapag-ship. So uh, actually January, when they called Al, yung community yeah, yeah. Al, they called yes. the classes already. Tapos sumunod yung COVID. So that's already yes. three months of almost no classes. Yes. Um, they called the classes. So kami in the head office, we were planning already what to do. And we were so happy that we had this online. So I mean, this is a chance to do it. So by April, we started training our teachers. Um, right after Holy Week, mga April 13 of 2020, we started online classes. So we started from preschool up to uh, grade up, up to our elementary in grade seven. So, pati yung mga bata from three years old, kaya na nila yung online. Nakita namin the whole year last year. The parents were worried about socialization. Yes, 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 yes. They were so happy because they could talk to each other, and then they can talk to the teacher. The teachers were so tired because it's so hard to teach online, <laughs> but gave them energy to be seeing their students. Kasi ang tagal nilang hindi nakikita yung mga bata. And then, yung mga maliliit, may socialization sila, they learned how to read, write, and count. You saw it with Leia. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. impossible. My child will not learn how to read, how to write online. I tell you, it's possible. It's possible. <laughs> Kaya lang siyempre, on the first week, di ba, nahihiya yeah. sila. So, parang din. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tapos patakbo sila. <laughs> yeah, Tapos yeah, yeah. next time, makikinig sila, tapos alis sila. Then yeah. the focus will, will follow after they get used to the person they're looking at, the teacher and their classmates. um They can, ano na, they, they can follow. For Galileo, yeah. it's just twice a week. Uh -huh. Oo, and then... Yung Galileo Online Learning Premium, it's twice a week of math and English. And this is supposed to help them already with school. Kasi because now of the COVID learning loss, it's good to support it with an after-school activity so that makahabol man lang sila dun sa math and English. It will teach them study habits, how to be able to catch up with online learning. And then those twice a week will be enough already. To support them in the classic school. Uh, maraming, maraming na nagko-comment asking about that uh, uh, twice a week Galileo program. Before I get into uh, that, Rowi, um, question muna on uh, uh, ito, yung uh, question to nung staff ko eh, si Mems Amor. Sabi nga, ang malaking pagkakaiba, ang malaking pagkakaiba ng schooling ngayon yung parents na ang teachers parang guide na lang ang teachers parang yung uh, parang yata yung da, 
ngayon kasi may bagong totoong load yung parents eh, di ba? I, 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 I used to, uh, I, I recall yung sinasabi noon ng uh, mga teachers or ng mga schools, parents, you are our partners. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sabi ni Pepsi Amor, eh kami na ang teacher, yung teacher guide lang. Um, right Your now, take. right now, since the children are at home, talagang nandun yung bata sa bahay. Before kasi when you bring them to school at 7, hindi mo na sila makikita. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. On the program. Kung hanggang 2 o'clock yung pasok ng bata, bibigyan mo pa ng after school, may taekwondo pa siya, kung minsan salvo ka kami na makikita. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, but now, since the child is home, the parents will really have a bigger role. And kasama mo, you're working from home also. But if you find a school with a good program, in the beginning, the parents will be needed because they have to turn on the computer, turn it off, um, guide the child. But after a while, if the school and the program provider is good, after a while, even the child, even Leia will know how to turn on the computer on her own. Yeah, yeah. May na siya eh. May yeah. na siya for a good one hour, di ba? Ginagano'n nga ako, di ba, Rowie? Ginagano'n nga ako. Pinapalis ako. Oh. And then, the parents will just be needed, or the guardian, if the child will want to go to the bathroom, or if they have to get something, na uhaw, yun. Um, mm. So, if the program naman is good, I think the teachers will be able to handle, get the attention of the child. And hindi naman masyadong malaki yung magiging trabaho ng parents. Of course, there will still be homework, may mga projects pa rin. Pero actually, mas madali nga ngayon kasi they spend less time in school. Kasi uh, uh, day na lang eh. Then after that, kailangan lang maging creative yung parents. And may commitment nga. Because the rest of the time when they're home, anong papagawa mo? Diba? Right, right. Kasi dati nga buong araw nasa school lang. Pero yun. Growing so, up, pasa tayo ng comments. Yeah. Basa tayo ng uh, comments, dumadami pa. Ma, baka magtampo, mag... Uh, ito, come, coming from Diane Katikista. Good evening, Ma'am Rowie and Sir Armand. Since my son, toddler, mag-online school na soon, worried lang ako na maging mas challenging, lalo dahil ganito ang setup. Ano kaya pwede may advice para maging focus siya? Um, I recommend... Oo, oh, oh, I recommend... Armand, you see naman what we do in Sacred Heart School, di ba? And, and Galileo. Um, I suggest for the parents, don't be too worried. Kasi kung minsan, yung worry nila nararamdaman ng bata. Kaya yung the child becomes also nervous. So let agree. the child... Agree. I can agree. I agree. So, I agree. Oh, so the parents should feel that, okay, my child can do this. Whatever the school will say, I will follow. Kung minsan, mas nakakahirap sa teacher yung nandun yung parent, pinipilit yung bata, sumagot, no? Let the child stay. Um, para lang nanonood ng TV. Kung minsan, di ba, when they're watching TV, they will watch, they will look around. Let them be. Uh, the teacher will be able to get the attention of the child later on. And yung mga activities niya, the child will be excited to do it on, on their own. They have to be left on their own. It's good to have, usually schools start with an orientation. Least, listen closely and follow. Kasi yung sinasabi ng teachers, lalo na ngayon na naka one year na tayo, based na yan on their experience. Trust them. Trust the teacher, trust the child, and know your role as a parent. Pero yun, usually, you're just too worried. So give it a chance, lalo na pag-start pa lang ng classes. Siyempre, nakikiramdam pa yung bata. Hindi pa niya kilala masyado yung teacher. Then there are classmates, first time niya nakita. So let the child adjust little by little. It will take, even naman on face-to-face -face learning, when you bring the child first time to school, mag adjust rin yan eh. Ganun din yung face-to-face. -face. Ganun din yung online. Let them adjust. Uh, Trust the system. Trust their child. Uh, last question before we go to Galileo uh, specifically, coming from Yesa Mendoza. Uh, ngayon po ba raw, merong mga uh, principal pa rin pag online learning, online school? Yeah, the setup is still the same. Uh, DepEd is still part of it. The learning competencies, pa rin, the, um, the time spent, of course, is less. 
but the setup is still the same. You still have teachers, you still have all the subjects. The minimum requirement pa rin yan. Meron pa rin plan for the whole year. At the end of the year, ito dapat yung natutunan ng bata. And they move to the next level the next year. But um, looking at it, parang this year, parang online pa rin talaga tayo. Pero yun, may principal, may teacher, same setup. It's just same online. Setup. Uh, Ms. Mowi, uh, shown on the screen is the website, or I think that's the homepage of uh, Galileo Enrichment uh, uh, Learning Program. No? Uh, tell us uh, briefly, uh, ito ang gusto ko talagang maibalita sa Peaceabilities viewers and followers. Eh. Uh, this is a twice a week program. Yeah. yeah. Okay. To, so support, uh -huh. yeah. to support, it's good. The classes will start, di ba? So, ngayon na online classes, and I explained to you, there's COVID learning laws. Um, it's important to support the learning of your child with an after-school program. Lalo na ngayon, half-day lang sila may pasok. In the afternoon, wala na sila masyadong gagawin. Twice a week of math, twice a week of English can help them continue mastering these core subjects that they need. Because these are the main subjects that they need to be good with all the other subjects. So habang COVID pa tayo, habang hindi pa tayo pwede mag-face to face hanggang online learning tayo, this will support the child with their online classes. It's supposed to help them build study habits. It's supposed to help them with online classes. It's supposed to teach them discipline, focus because of the practice that they do every day. Um yung mastery of each topic because yung mastery is very important and yung magiging foundation ng lahat ng matututunan nila later on. So this is supposed to help them. So there's a Galileo online learning premium program. So yung premium program, it's one hour, twice a week, and then they have activities to do every day. Kasi nga, practice is very important to be good at anything. Kahit tennis, kahit sports, di ba? Practice ka every day para gumaling ka. Ganun din yung natin and then we also have a Galileo kids program that's uh, for children three to five years old that one is four days a week uh, and it gives emphasis on socialization because for that age socialization is important and it um, helps them read and write is there a text hotline or the website that uh, uh, they can check uh, they can look at GalileoEnrichment.com for the website. And then GalileoEnrichment.com. Okay. Uh, maybe we'll uh, uh, put up the... Uh, it's it's now on stream, no? Uh, yeah. There. Uh, uh, Ms. Roby, mm -hmm. unfortunately, just like any uh, program, uh, kinakapos ang uh, oras, your last message to our viewers about online schooling uh, for the parent, for the student, and your uh, teachers as well. May mga teachers tayo nanonood. Now that there's a pandemic, even if schools are closed, I believe learning should continue. There's a prime time for learning. Let's take advantage of that. Let's let the children continue learning. Even if they're in regular school because of COVID learning loss, Galileo is here to help you to support online learning. Um, for parents, don't be too worried about online learning. I think this is the best alternative right now. Even the World Health Organization supports online learning because if you force face-to-face -face learning, the children can get uh, the virus. Ang mga bata actually yung super spreader. So wag natin i-gist yung life ng bata life of your family, just because you're worried. Um, stick to online learning or teach your child at home kung, ito yung, kung ayaw mong i-enroll. Uh, but what's important is let's not force face-to-face -face learning right now. And for the teachers, um, it's not easy, but it can be done. We survived one year already of online learning. I think when COVID, pag natapos itong pandemic, Whatever we're learning right now in this online learning will help us. I think uh, it will never go back to normal. Uh, whatever we're doing now will help us change for the better. Because later on, whatever we're doing online can help. Because right now, 
anyone can learn from the comfort of their work. So later on, baka hindi na everyday. Kailangan pumunta sa school. To their days for school. So mababawasan yung traffic, mababawasan yung pollution. So it will never go back to normal. But I think it will be better. And we survived one year already. I think this year will be better for all the teachers and students. As long as, you know, let's all believe that it can be. Ms. Rowie Mati of uh, Galileo Enrichment, thank you very much for your time. Uh, and dami pang mga questions na hindi ko pa nakita, around 100 of them. Uh, kulang ang oras, sana there will be uh, another opportunity that we can share with you, lalo na mga specific. Um, again, um, mas gusto ko hong, kung makakal may makakalimutan kayo, uh, una, yung hindi yung five keywords. Second, Wag yung kalimutan i-check yung website ng GalileoEnrichment.com. Um, yung apo ko po. Uh, I'm, I'm not endorsing them. I'm not. I'm just sharing the good news. Um, this is one online activity that my four-year-old granddaughter is excited. Uh, not because it's entertaining. It's because it's learning. Ms. Rowie Mati, thank you very much. And, uh, thank you so much. Uh, sa isang nabasa ko, we can still learn together even we're apart. That's why it's online. If you are not willing to learn, no one can help you. If you are determined to learn, no one can stop you. Peaceability is every Monday, 7 p.m. in CBRC.tv. I'm your host, Armand Benko of Kalaiko Foundation and KSK, SMP Co. Hanggang sa susunod na lunes. Bye! Salamat! Salamat!